Hey everyone, my name is Demas Rizzoli and in this video we're going to be talking about abstract photography. So first of all, what is abstract photography and what makes a good abstract image? Abstract photography is how we can express the unexpected. We can all create intriguing abstract art through perspective, movement and light to transform the places and objects in the world into unrecognizable images. We can also explore textures or details of everyday objects too. Good abstract photography makes you think of something else completely. Alright, so now let's take a deeper look into a few tips and techniques that can help you take better abstract photography. Playing with perspective. A good way to start taking abstract photography is to play with your perspective. Try different angles like looking straight up or looking straight down to see the world in a completely different way. It's not very often in our day-to-day -day lives that we look directly upwards or directly downwards, so this will definitely provide some unique angles. For shooting directly downwards, using a drone and doing some aerial photography can give you some angles that are completely unexpected and rarely seen before. You want to be able to train your eye to look beyond what's right in front of you. Abstract macro photography. This is all about zooming in on recognizable objects and subject matter. You could try using a macro lens or a telephoto lens to get really close. By removing the context completely and just focusing on shadow, lighting or textures, you're able to make the viewer question what you've just taken a photo of. Again, getting super close to objects is not what we usually do every day, so it's definitely going to provide you with some unique and different shots and take your abstract photography to the next level. Explore the world of texture and light. For this tip, you want to experiment with textures and tonality in your photos. Different textures evoke different atmospheres and feelings to the viewer, so see what you can create with just the colours and shapes in front of you. Nature photography that captures new perspectives of the ocean, sky or forest is a great way to experiment with texture. Like we already touched on earlier, aerial photography that captures the textures of the ocean, for example, can be very unrecognisable and abstract. And as another example, geometric shapes of buildings and building facades may look like patterned textiles. Capture objects in motion. The last abstract photography tip is to capture motion. To do this, you want to shoot with a slower shutter speed on your camera. I recommend shooting in shutter priority mode and experimenting with different shutter speeds to create different effects. A quicker slow shutter speed of around half a second or one second will give a completely different look to much slower shutter speeds of around 20 to 30 seconds. For the latter, I recommend using a tripod so you can keep the scene steady while you capture the movement. When you add motion to your images, it creates an abstraction. It captures light that you can't see with your eyes, so therefore you can transform the ordinary into the ethereal. <laughs> Finally, let's talk about a few quick and easy ways you can make your abstract photography stand out even more using some post-processing and editing techniques on Adobe Lightroom. So we're in Adobe Lightroom Classic now, and the first technique I want to show you is how to straighten your images. So in the Develop tab, go to the Transform panel and find and click on this button. After you click it, the zoomed in box will appear on your photo and all you have to do next is draw four lines, two horizontal and two vertical lines that should be horizontal and vertical in the image. For this photo, for example, we know that these building lines should be straight, so that's where I've drawn the four lines. By straightening your architectural facade images, this will make your photo look neater and look different to what the viewer thinks it is. Next, we can also play with the colors of your photos to create different moods and abstractions. For example, in this image, I want to make the ocean even more blue and accentuate the textures of the water. So to do this, I go to the saturation sliders and increase the saturation of the blue, and then I push the blue slider towards the aqua side slightly in the hue section, and then I also increase the luminance of the blues as well. Finally, I increase the textures and clarity sliders a little bit to make the textures pop out even more. As you can see, by making these quick and easy changes, you're able to emphasize different parts of your image and push your abstract photography even more. Finally, to finish this edit off, 
I used some graduated filters to make the right side of the image darker and the left side brighter. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video about abstract photography and you can use the tips and techniques in this video to take your photography to the next level. If you want to see more of my work, you can check out my Instagram, TikTok or YouTube channels and come say hello to me there. See you in the next video. Bye!